Let's engage Angela Forbes, who is uh, with the Democrats Abroad Director of Strategic uh, Initiatives. Thank you so much, Angela, for your time. What time is it where you are right now? Uh, it's 12.13 here in Germany. Uh, 12.13? Thank you, Martin. Yes. Right, very early in the morning. Right, thank you for waking up and staying with us and helping us understand what's happening. To, to start with, how has the Kamala campaign gone? We know that when she took over from Joe Biden, Biden's votes, com I mean, um, the popularity as compared to that of Donald Trump was not as strong. But since Kamala took over the baton, she ran a very good race. What would you say her high points have been throughout the campaign period? Uh, yes, Kamala Harris has run an excellent campaign. I would say from the very beginning until now, uh, I would say the, the Democratic National Convention was a high point. Uh, her closing statement at the Ellipse in Washington, D.C. had 75,000 people attend, which is a little bit of a record. Uh, but throughout the campaign, she's only gotten better. She's mm. only gotten more people excited about voting for her. And uh, I'm definitely proud to have voted for her already. Right. What, what, in your estimation, is the reason why people have described this election as too close to call? We know in previous elections you could tell who is in a comfortable lead, but this time around, no poll, no expert has been able to stick their head out to say Kamala is winning or Donald is. Why is it so? Uh, I would say because a lot of the polling is very uh, inexact. You know, there's a lot of people that never get called for these polls. There are a lot of people like people like me who are um, I've never been called for a poll and I doubt it I ever will um, <laughs> that are voting. And they're also they're not considering the fact that uh, American women are incredibly angry about having their rights taken away. And um, I don't think that, that that's really included in the poll. Although there was polling recently in um, Iowa that said that uh, Kamala was going to win Iowa. So this could be the surprise election that nobody could really uh, poll accurately. Mm. Right, and, and you mentioned the issue of American women. A number of the polls have suggested that it looks as though majority, about 55% of the women population in the U.S. have tilted to vote for Kamala. And it is stemming from the Road versus Wade, um, you know, case that the federal government, uh, you know, the federal, the Supreme Court um, touched on. Why is that such an important issue to American women? Uh, and Donald Trump has also shared a different perspective, but why is it such a topical subject and so important going into this election? Uh, it's an important issue because women thought that their rights for their own bodily autonomy was secure. And once you start taking rights away from people, where does it stop? Also, the maternal mortality rate has increased dramatically in the United States because people aren't able to access uh, what should be routine health care if you have a miscarriage or some other kind of problem with your pregnancy. Mm. And this is incredibly, uh, for, as, for me as a woman, this is incredibly horrifying to know that if I, go, if I go to the wrong state and I'm pregnant and I have a problem, um, that I could die. Uh, it's, I feel for my daughters, I feel for my nieces. Uh, also, I think that men don't like the idea that if their wife is pregnant, that she could also die because she can't get proper medical attention. Right. It's clearly, it's quite important to women. And maybe in wrapping up this conversation, one other key issue of contention is that of immigration. And uh, I mean, Donald Trump has said, he has said it plain and clear that he is against the number of influx of illegal immigrants coming into the U.S. It looks as though the Democratic Party is a bit liberal when it comes to issues of immigration. Uh, how do you think Kamala can win the hearts of the immigrant population and then also, you know, the, the general world of those who are interested in going to the U.S.? How do you think this will play out in 
the latter part of the decision making for those who are going to be voting? Well, I think people have to realize that during the Trump administration, he uh, said he was going to build a wall and have Mexico pay for it. He did not really build a wall. He built some sections of a wall. And immigration, illegal immigration, uh, was higher during the Trump administration. During the Biden-Harris administration, immigration has gone down. And yes, we do have immigrants. We have people that are seeking asylum. We have people that are coming here for, for jobs that are, that are coming through the proper channels. Uh, but what really needs to be done is that we need an overhaul of our immigration system, which the Republicans and Donald Trump decided that after the uh, plan was negotiated, that they didn't want to do it. And that would have solved a lot of problems. They didn't want to do it because Trump wouldn't have had something to run on. So right. the majority of these problems could be resolved if we would just uh, actually take action.